Hey everyone, it's Norm Ferrar, aka The Beard Guy here, and welcome to another Lunch with Norm, the Amazon FBA and e-commerce podcast. Today, Neil Twa created or hit a hornet's nest. So today, we're going to bring back a person that has the case study that proves what he was saying is correct. So here's the question. Should you ever turn off your PPC campaign? We're going to get real stats from the study. We're going to go over the expectations versus reality. And was it really worth it? Welcome, Bri. Hi, how you doing? I am doing great. How about you? I'm doing excellent. Glad to you, be here. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it. And, you know, uh, Neil started something. I mean, he hit the hornet's nest. Uh, you know, we've had lots of questions, lots of comments, uh, and I'm so glad that you're here um, so you could field some of these things. And I, I don't even want to, I am positive you are going to get hit with tons of comments and questions. So I think we're lucky that we're doing a pre-record. <laughs> so anyways, he was telling me that he had this really cool individual that tried the model, had worked the model, and you know not everybody can do this, but you're you fit into this, and you succeeded. He he actually said you are the like living case study of of what he did. So I can't wait to talk to you about it. He's he threw me for a loop when he said, "Oh, let's talk about this." Yeah, cool. So let's let's just recap, um, Neil. And when when I say Neil, it's Neil Twa's uh, strategy that we we did. I think it was uh, third week in June. So check it out. Uh, it, it was it was very interesting topic. One that I I've never heard anybody talk about, and that is turning off your PC uh, PPC. So Bry, let's get into it. Neil's strategy. What is it? Well, I would say, first of all, it's a strategy that is in line with everything that they teach us at Voltage, which is profit first, essentially. Profitability is the number one thing that matters. Amazon will push you and push you and push you all the way down to where you break even or lose money because all they care about is their customer experience of giving people the lowest prices and Voltage teaches us strategies to combat against that uh, push that happens from them while still taking advantage of all the many benefits of Amazon. Um, PPC is the largest moneymaker for Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, and that's right. So they're going to love it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well... All right. So first of all, Amazon, definitely, I think everybody who's listening to this who's been a seller for more than a few months knows that after you have a product that's got some success, your PPC costs do naturally go down because Amazon gets to make money on your clicks, but also they want you to keep giving them the clicks. And then they also want you to, uh, they also your fee and your FBA fee, if you're doing FBA. Um, so they got a good little system they figured out and then uh you know they give you just enough carrot of organic ranking and then now recently they've got it to where a lot of your organic ranking can drop if you aren't doing ppc so that's probably why this generated so much controversy i would think right yeah there's there's a lot of people and i i can already see their names in the comment uh, area, but uh, they would completely disagree with, you know, what we're going to be talking about. And that is, you know, turning off that moneymaker for Amazon at some point. I feel like I'm a press secretary. Like, I, <laughs> I, like, 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 like somebody said something really controversial and I got thrown out there now to uh, come up with. A you, did, you did. You did. You're actually <laughs> you've been you've been thrown to the lions. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, the nuanced part of this for me is, uh, or or the part I, 
I would say is maybe a caveat is it always depends on your goal. With any strategy, it depends on your goal. And if your goal is maximum growth, then you should never turn off PPC if it's working. Um, but if your goal becomes profit, number one, then turning off the PPC or dialing it down a good bit is a worthwhile goal. And at Voltage, what they teach us to do is to launch lots of products and and to have a product that is really good and that sells really well on certain keywords, preferably high volume or a lot of low volume. And then if you turn off or scale back your PPC, Amazon doesn't just take you out of the search engine. They still want your 15%. So you're still going to generate sales. I mean, I think that some of us get a little bit too hung up on watching the numbers on that one product we launched and we're hung up on that. And one, one thing that Voltage always says is there's a saying they tell us over and over and over again, and it's don't marry your product. You are not married to a product. If your product isn't as profitable as you need it to be, then just let it sell out and go launch another one. You know, don't play the game of going to the lowest price and cutting out your margin and taking money away from your family. Stop taking money from your family. Go launch another product where the marketplace still needs you. Because if you can't make a profit anymore, then the marketplace doesn't need you. That that's that's how I've been taught. Okay, so let's say that you've got that product, you've launched it, you've got an optimized listing, which is key. Uh, you're getting some organic sales. You've turned on your PPC. You're getting sales from PPC. Now, what I found with PPC is that sales, organic sales, come with PPC, you know, I might get, mm -hmm. you know, it might be a two to one ratio. It might be a three to one ratio, uh, but because people are seeing my brand all around, or maybe I'm defending my brand with PPC, um, it's costing me money to do that. If I were to turn that off, those organic sales would fall by the wayside. So again, I'm, I'm trying to understand the the concept of just turning it off are you just saying okay the the listing itself the algorithm is going to re reward me with a better listing or um with sorry i'm going to back up is the algorithm going to reward me because my listing is as good as the other listing that is apples to apples so if you have a product that is needed in the marketplace it's going to continue to sell and the question is are you more profitable with ppc or without if you are more profitable with it then you should keep running it so so i don't think it's a um i don't think it's a one-size-fits-all deal I, and i will tell right. you that currently i only have one product that isn't doesn't have ppc on it um the strategy i'm trying to grow my product sales still and yep. grow into other keywords so um but as i reach maturity in a product launch which is around 90 to 120 days uh the amount how aggressive i'm bidding on things comes way down and that is just a result of wanting to maximize profit so trying to find that sweet spot of um uh, still growing it while not uh overpaying and over giving away of my margin to ppc so and that and that you know but if you still want to dominate the space even more than that for the next year i mean i've, I've watched sellers on the helium 10 round tables that will talk about going for one year with a 50 percent coupon and all this and that's worked great for them there's people that have made millions of dollars doing that but um my strategy is let's get it up to where i'm on page one and I'm making, um, and this may not sound like a lot to some of the people on here, but I mean, when you're selling 30 to $80 products, if you have enough of them, it adds up to where I'm making five to 10 sales a day on average. And if I can do that with severely dialed back PPC, then I can make 20% margin, which is about 70% return on investment on my product. 
So if I go launch 10 to 20 of those over the next two years, I have a pretty valuable business on my hands. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, and again, like you said, it's not that you have to stop PPC is if it makes sense. And right. you still like one of the things that uh, intrigued me when Neil was talking was he was saying that uh, depending on the product, uh, depending on the experience that he's turned it off and he's just seen his sales either drop or, or stay the same or even uh, move up. It's yeah. you, you, And it just, it really depends on the niche where you're in and experimenting. You can always turn it back on. Yeah.